Oh, movement. Gizmo's being removed. A mysterious bubble. And Windy Plains 2.0. This is... Many news! The first and the biggest gameplay change is no movement on the main mode of the game. This includes duels, rumbles, as well as the events. So basically how the new system will work is that once you place down a mini on the board and the round starts, after that round ends, you won't be able to move that mini ever again on that game. And yes, that does mean that you won't be able to sell that mini too. You can still move the mini on the round when you place it down. There is also a cool indicator that shows which mini you can or cannot move. The minis which can be moved will have a green color tile under them showing that they can be moved. While when you try to move a mini which cannot be moved, then it will show a cross sign indicating that you can't move that mini anymore. You know, this sounds really dumb and controversial, but this allows the game to be less random because everyone will keep on changing their position on and on and a good chunk of time gets spent on predicting enemies placement rather than thinking of an actual strategy. This also provides more depth to the gameplay because now it is not who is going to predict enemies lane. Instead, now you need to use your game knowledge to choose the right minis and the right abilities and this also reduces the luck element of the game. This change demands to entirely rework some of the abilities and design of the minis to accommodate with these changes which are currently in progress and so stay tuned for that sneak peek. Also, you must be wondering what will happen to the nature wand. Will she be permanently locked to a certain form? The answer is no, you will be able to move her once again in a later round. But this can be only done once because of her unique design and mechanics. Next up, let's talk about the new tile system. But before that, here is a quick note that we are going to get a lot of new tiles with the new tile system. In this system, we will have two tiles showing up on each side of the board. One at the start of the round and another which will spawn in the third round. This system provides the player to change the course of the battle in the middle of the match and makes the game a little more refreshing. Quick tip is to save up one of your mini until the tile spawns to fully make use out of it. And if the placement of the second tile isn't random then place a mini on the expected tile position because you won't be able to move your minis afterward. Another great change is that the description of minis upgrades have been simplified making it easier and faster for players to understand what each ability does and which should they pick. There are some awesome mode UI changes like you can see the range of the minis at the start of the battle allowing you to see which minis can be targeted and which cannot be targeted. You can also see which minis your minis will be targeting with the help of the red line when you hold down the mini or place it down. You will also be able to see how much elixir your opponent has at the start of a certain round near their player avatar. There are even more changes which will help players understand what will actually happen before the battle starts. You can also see the league of your opponent as well as your own league just so that you can know more about your opponent. They are also working on remodeling existing minis which are outdated and also reworking them as well as their skins to give them a better look. We will know more about that in the future but for now take a quick glimpse to the Spare Goblin model although this isn't finalized. They are also working on a potential idea of spending elixir in order to receive additional amount of rerolls. This feature is not final and might not even make to the final version but currently the ratio is 1 is to 1 between elixir and rerolls. This feature is a revolutionary one. When the match starts you can see enemy's hero spawning in a bubble indicating which hero it is right away. Gizmos are being removed from the actual game and by actual game I mean duels and rumbles. They will still be available in some events which is a little sad but at the same time understandable because the main gimmick of gizmos were that they were immovable objects. But now everything is immovable making them irrelevant. All of the existing boards are being remodeled. I'm not sure about the lava mountain and the forest rumble map but other than that all the boards are being remodeled and today I will show you the new windy plains map. This is how the new windy plains map would look like and today I'm going to compare it with the old windy plains map. The windmill on the lower part of the map is being removed while the windmill at the top is being redesigned from a boxy look to a little round look. Next up is the trader's van which is almost identical from the previous version but with a higher contrast making it more eye catchy in my opinion. The lake on the lower half of the map is getting a little change from having the wonk on the top side to now having the wonk in the right side. Also we don't have seagrass sticking out and RIP to the lily pad. The bridge thing is getting a little longer while also being displaced by a chunk. Now the water is also more transparent and you can also see the pebbles inside it. The size of the flowers is being reduced but they are now available in batches giving them a more blended and simplistic look which I am a fan of. Overall in terms of trees and bushes they have gone for a more spherical look than a boxy look which I don't know I'll dislike it because I am a minecraft player if you don't know. And so my opinions are a little based. We also have a little hill towards the lower half of the map which has replaced the old windmill and this makes it look really cool and aesthetic. On the top side of the map we have another hill which replaced the old lake and has animated waterfall like dude this looks so cool. And we also have pine trees which again are a bit round but I like these one. And also the waterfall has so much personality with the rocks and the seagrass and also the bridge beside the windmill. Overall I am a huge fan of this board and I am really excited to see how other boards would look.